hello friends in this video we will see how to generate sinusoidal signal in MATLAB so just right click on MATLAB tool and open it MATLAB tool is opening See, this is MATLAB user interface. Here you can see this is the editor window. This one is the command window, and this one is workspace window. Okay, this one is file directory where you are where you are creating the file, where you have created the file, where you are where you are creating the file. Okay, so just go to the change the directory where you have created the MATLAB files. See here, uh, I have created uh, I have created sinusoidal signal generation dot m. This is the MATLAB file. In this file, I have already coded how to generate the sinusoidal signal. Okay, so I'll explain line by line code and I will show by running the program ok so in first section you can see CLC CLC close all and clear all these three command will uh, clearing the uh, clear the all the workspace file command window file and uh, this section I have defined all these parameters whatever required for signal generation. Here FS means sampling frequency. I have chosen 1 kilohertz. And that there are two signal I am generating. Two sinusoidal signal I am generating having frequency, message signal frequency first is 1 and second message, message frequency is 100. Okay. And uh, I am taking the sampling frequency of 1 kilohertz, so time, sampling time will be 1 by fs. So I am defining the time vector. So here t equal to 0 to 1 and a step size of ts, sampling time. Every ts time collect one sample, collect one sample, okay. So all the parameters I have defined in this section. Now next section is how to generate the sign signal. So sign, sign is the uh, metal of function and uh, in this uh, sign argument I have defined 2 pi fm1t, fm1t is the message signal frequency. I have defined already 1 hertz and t is the time vector. Okay and 10 to the power minus 4 this is the amplitude of this sinusoidal signal ok and this value assigned to x1 underscore t this is the signal name ok just I am plotting this signal subplot 3 comma 1 comma 1 it means we are plotting 3, say, three signal having uh, there are 3 row 1 column 3 row and 1 column ok uh, first write subplot then plot plot between what signal frequency uh, signal versus its uh, time axis so t is the time axis x1 underscore t is the signal name so plot t comma x1 t and give the title name as signal x1 generation and x level i am marked here time in second y level marked here amplitude in linear value not in decibel value I have defined here linear value ok just simulate this one and see similarly I have generated ok we will see run simulation after uh, explaining all these codes ok how to generate x2 signal similar yes. whatever I have to explain how to generate x1 signal similarly I have, I have written the code for x2 sinusoidal signal 
we have x2 underscore t equal to 10 to the power minus 4 sin 2 pi fm 2t. The only difference is fm1 and fm2. fm1 I have defined 1 hertz and fm2 I have defined here 100 hertz. Okay. So I am generating two signal in third section. I am, I am adding these two signal to generate mixed signal of x1 underscore t and x2 underscore t. And I am assigning this value to y underscore t. And I am plotting this signal plot t comma y t. And uh, I am giving the I have given the name as sum of signals x1 and x2. X level as time in second, y level as amplitude in linear value. Okay. So just I am running the uh, simulation and see the waveform. How waveform look like? See. This one is x1 signal generation. This one is x2 signal. This one is sum of signals x1 and x2. Okay. Here amplitude level is 10 to the power minus 4. I have uh, I have mentioned in the signal. Uh, I have mentioned here. You can see. See, level amplitude of the signal is 10 to the power minus 4. That's why you are showing 10 to the power minus 4. And uh, signal one is frequency of 1 hertz. It means one cycle in one second. See in time axis, this is in second. See one second. In one second, there is uh, signal. How many cycles? Only one cycle. Because I have defined here, FM one equal to one hertz. So one cycle in one second. That's why look. Uh, that's why X one signal looks like this. Similarly, I have generated X two signal. X two signal having signal frequency of two hundred hertz. It means there are two hundred, two hundred signals, two hundred cycles in one second all these cycles accumulated to make 200 cycles okay in one second there are 200 cycles okay in uh, uh, these two signal when adding these two signal this is the resultant signal sum of signals x1 and x2 okay see uh, this is the mixed signal of x1 and x2 look like this this is the high frequency, low frequency signal. This is high frequency signal. High frequency signal following the low frequency signal. Okay. In this way, we can generate the sinusoidal signal. Thank you so much for watching my video. In next video, uh, I will explain how to generate noise signal. Okay. Thank you so much.